If your countertop breaks, don't worry. We got a solution for that. There's two reasons why this countertop broke. One of the reasons is because of the flat bar that they insert into the stone so that it doesn't crack when you're installing it or when you're transporting it, which is this rebar here. And another reason is because on the bottom of the stone, it didn't have any shims. So when you put pressure on the top of the granite, it, it flexes. I'm just gonna clean out this whole area where the rebar is, try to clean out as much as I can. Then I'm gonna just use the polyester resin without color so that I could adhere the pieces back in place. Afterwards, then on the surface, I'll use the polyester resin with color so that it matches with the stone. Once I'm done here, I just glue everything, clean off and make sure that everything is nice and level. On this end, we have a few pieces missing, so I'm gonna have to reconstruct that part with the polyester resin and color. The way you polish is very important and the color match is important also. If you polish it perfectly, but then the color is off, it's gonna be noticeable. I put filler previously in between the joints to make sure that it has support and now on the outside, I'm just gonna fill in with the base color, which is that like orange, orange, peach type color. And then you have to add the accents, which is the black. So if you don't do this, you're just gonna see a solid color and, and it's gonna be noticeable because the stone is not a solid color. The stone has various colors. So that's part of the trick of getting this as perfect as possible. Once the resin dries, it take about maybe 45 minutes to an hour before you could start sanding. I like to use sandpaper first to kind of give it back its shape. And when I'm done with that, then I'll go back and I'll do any touch up work that I might have missed. Sand it again to remove any excess resin. And then I'll start doing my three step polishing system. So when I'm done with step number one, I check my area. It looks pretty good. If I have to do any touch-ups, I'll do it now, but it's, it's fine. I'm just gonna continue with step number two. Then after step number two, I go to step number three. When I finish step number three, I use the color enhancer so that it kind of darkens the stone because sometimes it tends to stay a little bit light or a little hazy let's say so you get a real nice shine but sometimes you just need to use a color enhancer to make sure you get that rich color so after that sat for about an hour i dried it off and that's it job is done considering the circumstances of, and the condition that the counter was on this is a great turnout and the customer was happy for more details send me an email to anthony at ajstonelife.com. See you next time.